So thank you once again for joining us. Uh, my name is Sinman and I'm from the Smart Nation and Digital Government Office. Um, Smart Nation Together is an online channel uh, developed to introduce our community to basic tech skills and knowledge and introduce digital upskilling opportunities for the community. Um, this afternoon, we present to you our Smart Kaki Kopi Talk series, uh, where we share with you on tech around us and some tips on tech. So for the whole of November, our talks will be focused on common scams in Singapore and how to protect ourselves against them. Um, have you been receiving funny messages from unidentified numbers, offering deals? Um, unfortunately, scams happen every day in Singapore. So in today's session, we'll learn from the Singapore Police Force on how to identify and pick up tips to protect ourselves and others from drop and e-commerce scams. So we are very happy to have with us today our friendly neighbourhood policemen, uh, Matthew and Nazri, to conduct the session today. So Matthew and Nazri, uh, over to you, please. Hello, thank you so much, uh, Simon, for having us. Thank you to Smart Nation. Uh, first and foremost, we'd like to say that you sound like a DJ. You sound amazing. You sound good. Correct, or Matthew? Amazing, amazing. amazing. Exactly. Thank you so much All for right. that awesome uh, welcome as well. Yeah, thanks a lot. Okay, so before we begin the uh, presentation proper, I, I believe, I, I hope you guys can hear us well. Uh, let us just introduce a bit about uh, ourselves. Uh, my name is Nazri. I'm from Marine Parade Neighborhood Police Center. Likewise, my colleague here, Mr. Matthew. Uh, we are all both from uh, Marine Parade Neighborhood Police Center, the community policing unit to be uh, exact. So what we do is uh, basically we educate the members of the public in uh, our area. Uh, community policing unit officers, we uh, keep a close bond with our community partners, such as uh, our stakeholders, uh, our you know, people from People's Association. Uh, we do school talks from preschoolers to primary school, secondary students, uh, let them know about, you know, uh, the crime trends and so on. Uh, at the same time, also, this is one of the things that we do is uh, currently, uh, due to the current situation, we do a webinar session. Uh, basically, we give uh, talks on how to prevent yourself from being a victim of crime. So this is what we do basically for community policing unit. Mr. Matthew, you want to add anything else to let, uh, you know, the viewers know what else we do? Yes, I think no, I think you just covered everything and that was an amazing uh introduction. So without further ado, um, thank you, sir. Let's let us move on to our webinar proper. Exactly. So today you guys are here for you know to take a uh, note on uh, job and e-commerce scam. So before we begin, uh Mr. Matthew, let me ask you something, man. Oh uh, yes. Do you actually know what scam is, my friend? Uh, I might know a thing or two about scam, but um, mm -hmm. I believe a scam is basically a fraudulent or deceptive act or operation. Right. I think you're, you you got it there. Like, basically, somebody who lies to you and, you know... Uh, yes, uh, because I know because I've read it off the dictionary. Amazing. But maybe what you can... You. <laughs> yes. So, I, I, I'm pretty sure that a lot of people know what scams are. But Correct. the question that we all want to ask is, do you really know and do you really understand how scams work? Because knowing will actually, you know, have, yeah, having a better understanding of it actually will help you protect yourself and your loved ones. That is correct, Mr. Matthew. And here we are to uh, share with you on you know, the top five scams uh, that's, hap that's happened in Singapore. So as you can see on the first slide here, this is just the mid-year crime statistics for 2021. Just, uh, it, uh, just in the mid-year, it rose about 16%, 8,403 cases in 2021. That's a lot of people being uh, you know, scammed. Indeed. And, and you can see that the amount here is millions, 168 millions. And, and I think uh, it is a concern for everybody. And uh, it is best that if we can share uh, you know, about all the scams and how to yes. prevent yourself from being you know, a victim of scam. It is, yeah, and it's really important to realize that uh, even though with all our efforts, you know, and the police are uh, doing uh, constant engagements and all, it is also very concerning that the scams are going up. Uh, this is also because uh, during the COVID situation, um, you know, uh, people are working from home and all that, and uh, the scammers are actually evolving and uh, improving their ways to how, to, uh, how, how they should uh, go about scamming people. So as you can see over here, it's basically an overview of how the different kind of scams are. are, are. And in the next couple of sessions, do come back and join us uh, as we talk about the different kind of scams and how you can identify them and protect yourself and your loved ones. So over here, we are talking about job scams. So Najee, do you know what job scams are? 
Well, if I could uh, summarize everything, it's basically you receiving a message either to uh, your phone or maybe email uh, and people will give you attractive job offers over the phone and say that, you know, you can earn this kind of jobs with uh, good money and so on. Is that correct? Right. So um, basically, yes, you mean, you mean those messages that I receive and, uh, and they ask, oh, do you want to earn quick money uh, by doing a simple thing like maybe liking uh, certain face, uh, social media posts or maybe like, you know, go and do online purchases. Those Correct. are job scams. Those are telltale signs. Yes, yes, indeed, man, brother. Those wow. are telltale indicators, man. In interesting. Yeah. yeah, because I do receive certain uh, messages like that and uh, it is very concerning because uh, uh, even for us, we also do receive it and it's very important that you know how to identify it, right? So, mm -hmm. um, uh, what's important is to realize that, you know, when you are asked to download fake mobile applications to grab such jobs through this application. So when, when, when somebody asks you, we say, okay, look, please, uh, to, to execute this job, you need to download and sign up for this package or you need to download this uh, mobile uh, application. These are very uh, telltale indicate, uh, very interesting telltale indicators already because uh, it is, uh, you know, usually jobs don't require you to do these kind of things. Right, uh, and it's what uh, what is more concerning is that these uh, uh, instructed to top up funds into these accounts on applications. So by transferring money to these bank accounts that they give, you can transfer money, and then still need to top up uh, uh, money to these accounts. Exactly. Or like convert it into like cryptocurrency and transfer them this wallet. So basically, even before you sign up for the job, you need to pay money. Wait, it doesn't make sense, isn't it? Doesn't make sense at all. Yeah. Yeah, and, and the last part of it, uh, and, and this is what lures people to the job, is that they are promised commissions after a certain number of tasks that they have been completed. So basically, um, we don't even know whether you will earn this money or not. And there you are, you know, banking on this promise, go and transfer money in. Correct. You are, you know, constantly giving money, uh, purchasing items that they, they want you to support. Uh, but then in the end, you will not get your commission and these people will just disappear, uh, you know, from, from your contacts and, you know, you won't be able uh, to contact them. You won't get your money. You will be, you know, having a loss. So I think there was a question from Mr. Freddy. He's quite curious on how the scammers get our mobile numbers. So Mr. Freddy, one of the things that they, they, they try doing is that they just press the numbers. They just tick up money, you know, just because sometimes it will be our numbers as well. So what we can do is we, if we do get this kind of numbers, especially those with a plus prefix, the one with the plus sign, even though it's plus six, five, please just take note that it could be a call from overseas. So uh, if, and then uh, on the other hand, if you hear uh, it's a voice automated, um, you know, message or the person uh, calling sounds like a robot, that is one of the telltale indicators that it is a scam. So nice. I hope I answered your question. All right, moving on. Mr. Matthew, anything else to add here, sir? I uh, know. So All let's right. just give an introduction of how these things are basically done sure. in uh, greater detail. So uh, as what we've mentioned before, basically they will actually solicit first. So they will uh, just send out mass uh, numbers to everybody who is interested to uh, work for this commission-based part-time job on social That's media. Right. It could be on WhatsApp, Facebook, TikTok even. And, and these kind of job, uh, um, rather job is really uh, enticing. You know, yeah. uh, because what will happen is that uh, the victims will actually get the cost of the item back plus 10% commission. So if you spend a hundred dollars, you easily can get ten dollars back, and that's super promising because, like, look, I'm gonna do this thing for maybe half an hour. That's half an hour of my job. How much money I can earn? That is a very alluring thing, but not all good things are so easy to come by. <laughs> exactly, yeah, exactly. So what you need to do is basically, all, uh, you know, uh, buy something from an online shop to your cart. Do a screenshot and transfer the cost to a bank account provider. So you are not purchasing things through uh, the e-commerce the e platform, Shopee, Lazada. What you are doing is you are transferring this money into something uh, like, a, like a bank account, which you don't even know who this bank account details are. So um, and once you, once you realize that, okay, the things are increasing in terms of amount, because you will start small, you will start at maybe $10, you will move up to $100. Uh, I have personal friends who have lost up to $10,000. Uh, $10, so that's <laughs> he was buying a bicycle or something like that, right? What was he? 
purchasing? Uh, it yeah, was man? multiple items. It was right. multiple okay. items. Yeah. Okay. So, and and some sorry, just one last thing. Sometimes you uh, said when you are in it too much, uh, you don't you don't you want to believe that it's real. Correct. And then all your money goes missing. Exactly. So one of the the tactics this uh, scammers do. Correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Matthew. They they entice yes. you by doing this. Once you purchase something, they'll give you um your your commission on the first stage to show you that hey yeah you know uh when I do this job oh you see I I do receive the commission. They'll give yes. you like maybe a, a first time and then the second time they'll give you the commission. Yes. But once you That's play right. big numbers, that is where you lose all the money. That's where. So. Correct. Then uh, come on, then. Uh, Unfortunately, so yeah. Ray Ang has been asking, can you provide the contents of this? And uh, just nice, we have uh, basically a picture of uh, how it will look like on WhatsApp. I understand it may a bit be uh, small to read through, but basically what they're asking is that they're hiring partners working uh, from home with your smartphone. You know, they're promising you $300 to $500 daily income. So all you need to do is kindly PM this particular number and you can get more information. Okay, so if you're interested, they will start asking you about your details, your name, your contact details and all this type. And this is basically an overview of what kind of information they require for you. And then they will invite you to a WhatsApp group. Hmm. Okay. So they're also... Um, yeah, they're also uh, on dubious mobile applications as you can see here. So Najee, would you like to share just a little bit about what we are seeing here? Uh, can I just confirm that you guys are, you know, uh, hearing any echoes right now? I think somebody said there was echo. I think it's okay. I hope it's okay. Good. Matthew, you can hear me, right? Yes. Yeah, everything nice. is good. Yep. All right. Okay. Awesome. Set. All right. So this is one of the uh, dubious, um, you know, mobile applications that will do. They they will do is basically you know you, they get this application. They ask you to install into your phone. Thereafter, you add credits uh, into the uh, application, and then you know you 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 need to buy uh, items and make commissions and maybe change it to cryptocurrency and and, and so on. And thereafter, you know you won't be able to contact the uh, the person. Anything else to add, Mr. Matthew, for this slide? Nope. And this is a fake warning letter as well uh, on WhatsApp. Uh, what they do, the scammers, you know, they, they will say that, you know, for your, your account, uh, that, you know, your, your account has been uh, frozen due to, you know, certain, uh, you know, there's some withdrawals or, or some malicious uh, acts and, and, and so on. And in order for the account not to be frozen, you have to, you know, uh, comply to this letter and, um, you know, contact the particular person or give them uh, details or your personal particulars and, and so on. So please do take note that, you know, we don't, government officials, we don't send all this sort of warning letter over uh, WhatsApp and so on. If we need to send you a letter, it will be official via snail mail, which is, you know, through your letterbox and, and so on. Matthew, anything to add for this oh, one? That's sir? right. So moving on. Yep. So let's uh, actually identify the signs of such job scams, right? So basically, in summary, jobs that offer lucrative commissions that simply too good to be true are just a really a red flag. Uh, secondly, is all these unsolicited messages advertising uh, job you receive from unknown numbers or unknown foreign numbers. Um, request to transfer funds to bank accounts or cryptocurrency wallets belonging to individuals they had not met in person. So these three are basically uh, telltale indicators that, uh, you know, um, is something that you need to identify uh, to protect yourself. And that is correct. And how do you protect yourself? I think it's very, very simple. It's straightforward. All you need to do is not accept all this kind of uh, job offers, uh, no matter how um, good the offer is. Uh, do not download uh, all these um, applications that you know that is not official. And uh, last but not least, please do not send your money over to people you do not know, uh, your personal particulars to people you do not know, your OTP and so on. Basically, whoever you hear on the other line, you do not know the person, you can't see the person, please do not share any details to them, okay? Even if it was me on the line, I mean, if you're not sure it is, if it's us, please give a call to the organization to find out whether it's the real us. All right, so moving on, we have a, a video on our very own series, which is called Mata on Scams. Uh, this is the breaking news series, and this is about job scams. So job scams, the hero who is presenting uh, about this is Mr. Matthew, none other than Mr. Matthew. Um, just a little bit about our Mata on Scams. It's... Um, bite-sized series whereby we share about all the latest scam trends because scam is the trending 
thing right now and we want a lot of people to know how to better protect themselves and we want your assistance to uh, assist us to share this video and you know, share whatever that we've shared with you uh, so that you know your family members your friends whoever you know won't fall prey to scams so mr matthew take it away for job scams this is a short clip <laughs> Scammers would claim that the job will require the victim to help merchants to improve their sales by performing tasks on various e-commerce platforms and make payments to bank accounts in order to receive a commission based on the amount transferred. The victims would be required to make an upfront payment via bank transfer for a series of transactions before receiving full reimbursements with attractive commissions. They promoted me to VIP for being so efficient. Right, and they said that instead of 10%, we're gonna give you 20%. I was wow, no way. I got excited and carried on with the third transaction. The third transaction was $289, but this time they couldn't refund me. They said there was a system error. VIPs need to complete three consecutive transactions in a row to receive their payout. All right, so that's uh, one of the uh, episodes from uh, Matown Scam. So, uh, do check us out on the Marine Parade NPC Facebook page. So moving on from job scams, we have another kind of scam, which is e-commerce scam. So basically in this e-commerce, uh, you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure you know, some of you are purchasing things online. 11.11 uh, is coming up really soon. So 11.11 is coming up. Lots of uh, great deals are going to be online. You have e-commerce platforms, Carousel, Shopee, Lazada, and all that. So usually we are you know, often uh, tempted by what seems like a good deal for perhaps a gadget or maybe a hotel stay, an amusement park, something like that. And uh, victims actually will be instructed to directly transfer money to the seller. And sellers would then further demand payments for like maybe delivery charges or, you know, uh, you will receive messages from the seller saying that, hey, you know, your items are stuck at the customs and you will need uh, because they might they were found some illegal things inside, so on and so forth, you'll be afraid and you will actually start transferring money. And this will never end because you'll just keep going and going and the money will keep multiplying and multiplying. So one of the recent tactics they use actually is to, uh, when you receive such uh, fake SMSs from an unknown number saying that you made a purchase uh, with a credit or debit card. And then uh, once you contacted the number, the scammer would say that, oh, you know, uh, this uh, 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 an e-commerce account has been hacked and uh, request for you to download a software application for this refund process. So what actually this is, is that you are actually downloading uh, an uh, a application that will give remote access to the scammer. So what remote access means is that if I am using my computer right now and I give remote access to somebody else, anyone else in the world can access my computer and control my things and even access my secret data or even, you know, log into my bank, uh, online banking and all that. So that is extremely dangerous. So these are the kind of scams that you would uh, uh, highlight. So maybe, John, uh, Nazri, you can uh, highlight uh, just the, the same Science. one. Science, very simple. E-commerce science. Uh, okay, let me uh, share something. If something, the price is too good to be true, Basically, it is a scam. You know, um, the current iPhone right now, I think iPhone 30 Pro, 13 Pro Max, I think it's thousands of dollars, okay? If you see the price is at $900 or $700 and it's not from StarHub, it's not from Singtel, it's from uh, a website that you do not know, that is a very, very good telltale indicator that it is a scam. So please do take note. Uh, how the scammers play this is by items that are on high demand right now, uh, gadgets that are trending, Things that uh, you know people want to purchase, you know, especially those um, uh, enthusiasts and everything, and they they will definitely bring down the price much much lower. And and uh, once once you see it, uh, it will entice you. It will make you want to purchase it. And then straight straight away, you want to seal the deal. You will just deposit. So, well, uh, other than that, please do take note. Uh, Insist of on uh, bank transfers instead of using. Uh, uh, the uh, platform payment options and request to take the conversation off the shopping platform. Those are a few things uh, which is uh, science. If the seller asks you to go away from the uh, platform, 
and message you personally on WhatsApp and so on, that is uh, a telltale indicator. So those are the few signs that you should take note of. Yes, that's right. And uh, here is a, a very good example of how these Facebook advertisements look like, right? So, um, you know, they look like a normal advertisement, but what you can notice is that they are, you know, uh, very cheap. Uh, they are selling at a very cheap price, okay? Or something which is not normal, which is below market price. And these are some of the emails that are also uh, an example. Right, so you just need to take note that all this kind of... Um... Uh, advertisement will come in in a lot of forms, emails, it can be on social media, uh, medias, Instagram, Facebook, and so on. But the most important thing here is that you need to know, you need to spot whether this is real or not. And uh, if it's too good, once again, if it's the deal is too good, it's too cheap, please do not purchase it. Yes, that's right, right Nazri. And it's important that you are able to spot the signs and then you can stop the crimes. So, exactly. <laughs> so one way of doing it uh, is also to watch our Mata on Scams video, which I have prepared here. Uh, this is where we in, uh, invited a real uh, victim who shared his personal experience and, uh, and, and he's willing to share it with all of you so that we can learn from his mistake without uh, you know, losing any money. So let's have a watch. I went on, I was interested in buying a tablet and I went on online to look at the different marketplaces and I found a tablet that I thought was a really good price. It was about $700 and I, in other places it was usually about $1,200. And so I went on ahead and purchased it through the platform I was on. And then the, the seller started contacting me through WhatsApp. Right, so it's very important to note that you see he's mentioned about the seller actually contacted him through WhatsApp and then the conversation continued from there. So reason being is that the seller, uh, certain uh, e-commerce platforms actually do have safeguards inside the chatbot. So basically it's an algorithm that they, they detect uh, any form of uh, scam language or anything like that. And then they will actually give you advisories. So the reason why they want to pull you away from this chatbot is so that you know they don't uh, you don't receive such advisories and they can you know communicate with you personally through WhatsApp and then they will start asking you to transfer money via uh, personal bank transfer, which is um, not ideal. So again, you know how to protect yourself is basically you know not to agree uh, for bank transfers below de before delivery. So where possible, you know you need to insist on this cash on delivery or the platform secure payment option. For example, for Carousel, they have something like Carol Pay, right? So it's already in that been built in the app. Once you receive the items, then the money will trans um rather uh, transferred to the seller. Okay, and uh, you have to always remember that you have to check out that all the fees are stated upfront. Reason being, there are still scams. You purchase something at a very cheap price, and and as what I mentioned earlier, uh, you know, you will say that oh, um, you have to pay for delivery charges now. Uh, your item stuck at customs now. You have to pay for the custom release fee. You know, uh, we weight the items and your item is uh, above the weight declared and you have to pay for this first and then get refund later. So all these kind of things are very usual tactics that the scammers use just to scam you, right? Another thing is that you almost always, always, always verify the authenticity of the call or caller's intent with the official websites or sources. So verify your credit or debit uh, card bill for an unknown transactions made to the said online marketplace and also contact the online marketplace via the numbers listed on its official website. Uh, so if you realize anything online, Shopee or Lazada, there is a report function, please go ahead and report uh, so that the e-commerce the, the, the e platforms can identify this as well. Yes. So moving on. I think you basically covered everything, man, Mr. Matthew. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, welcome. <laughs> All right. So now we're just going to do a small little interaction. Uh, we're just going to check if you guys think this is a scam or this is real or or whatever it is so basically you get this offer from probably carousel or lazada or anywhere uh, probably email or sponsored post uh, saying that this is a limited edition ps5 uh, and all you need to do is just do a direct bank transfer at 700 dollars so can anybody tell me whether this is a scam what do you think man mr matthew we'll just give it about like, 10 seconds Yes, yeah, so uh, now is your time to tell us uh, 
whether this is a scam or not. Okay, if you receive such a advertisement online, you want to buy the latest PlayStation Five for maybe your grandson or your granddaughter. Exactly. You see what? Well, this one, this one is seven hundred dollars, quite cheap. You say, oh, direct bank transfer for got discounts or more? Hey, not bad or not bad, not bad. Exactly. Real so. scam. Are you sure? <laughs> This is the best time to buy this, you know, because the 11, 11 sale is coming and it's the best time to buy for your, you know, your kid or your cousin or whatsoever, whoever it is you want to buy. It's a good Christmas present also to begin with, right, Mr. Matthew? All right. So let's see. We have uh, two people who chat and uh, said that it is a scam. Yeah, this is a super good lobang, you know. This, uh, you cannot get this uh, deal anywhere else. This is a deal breaker, basically. So, Mr. Matthew, what do you think, man? Ah, so it is a scam. Well done to Ray and Michael Lee for identifying this as a scam. Reason being, mm -hmm. straightforward, huh? Straightforward is a scam. Because you check the credibility of the offer and do not commit too quickly. Yep. Okay. So it's very important uh, when, you, when you see this kind of advertisements, okay, don't like, rush into it because uh, that is exactly what the scammers want you to do. Wow, great deal, Chong Wen Take. This is a typical Singaporean mindset. That's right. So uh, exactly. I'm guilty of that as well. You know? So it's always good <laughs> that we stop and we think whether this is a scam or not. How come it's yeah. so cheap? Sure or not? Uh, you must always mm. ask yourself, sure or not? <laughs> Correct. So yeah, the direct bank transfer is a telltale indicator. So please take note of that. Uh, other than that, I know this is a bit tough, when, especially when you do shopping online. Uh, I do see people do transactions live. Uh, they, they communicate online on the correct the platform, not through WhatsApp and so on. And I've seen them doing the transfer at, uh, you know, at, at their houses and everything. And they will come with the, the items and then they, they will pay once they get the items, once they check the items. The old school method, that is the best way. So that is one of the ways to you know, uh, ensure that you are not a victim of crime. I mean, a scam uh, to get yes, the items. Right. I, I, I think I just, wanna, yeah. I just want to add on something. Sure. Is that, um, Go ahead. These scammers are always, you know, banking on the fact that convenience, uh, you know, because we are so busy with everything and convenience. So they will make it very convenient for you, but they are also conveniently stealing from you. So that's a very important thing to remember. Correct. Their, their convenience will inconvenience you. Definitely. I hope that's a line. Yeah. Okay. Next one. So moving on, this is a good price for a bag, probably, uh, you know, for uh, Christmas since it's coming, it, you know, you can buy it for Valentine's Day or so. Um, and it's an expensive bag. It is a well-known bag. And, uh, you know, how these people will play, they will say that this is the last piece or, you know, we have limited editions of uh, this bags left and we're giving it at a very, very good price. Maybe not 5,000, maybe to you, it'll go down a little more. So what should you guys do? What do you guys think? Will this be a scam? Will you buy the bag before it sells out? Or, you know, think about it and risk having it sold out. But then again, it's a good lobang. It's a good deal. It's a deal breaker again. You know, uh, if you come to think of it like, oh, I have this amount of cash and I can spend it. And so why not? What do you think? Yeah, so tell us, tell us, tell us in the chat. Uh, what do you think about this? It'll be good to have your comments. It'll be yeah, great. we love reading yeah. your comments and questions and all that. So please. Scan I'm, I'm not sure about everyone. <laughs> I'm not sure about everyone, but I would think very hard about it. <laughs> oh, I'm sure is... because it's back, right? because it's like Louis Vuitton and, and so on. <laughs> or, you know, somehow if it's your, your favorite brand, I don't know what your Last favorite one. brand maybe. Last one. Ah. Exactly. It'll be like, uh, uh, should I just press that purchase button? Should I wait out again? Should you yeah. know what, what else should I do? Hmm. So, what do you guys think? Let's see the chat. Uh, a lot of people say it's a scam. Uh, do an internet check on the item. That's amazing, Wei Ang. This is one of the things that I, I want to highlight is, uh, you know, check the authenticity of the seller. Uh, when somebody is selling something, right, what, what you can do is, of course, uh, check the comments section. You know, they, they will, there will be a grade for the seller, uh, whether it's a 9.10 or a, if it's a lousy seller, then they won't put a good grade. But some time to look through the comments and seeing uh, you know, um, whether these uh, that the seller is a very, very good seller and so on. Also, learn how to uh, spot uh, spoof um, comments. Uh, how do I say that, say that Mr. Matthew? Uh, yes, that's they, right. They so create, um, um, basically what they do is yeah. uh, they uh, try to create fake comments to say that Correct. okay, this seller is very good and all that. Yes. So um, usually these kind of comments, there is a certain way or certain style that they speak. So yeah. uh, do highlight on that. 
Yeah, so I think most of you got it, all right? Um, well done. This, this is a really tough thing because uh, even I will think twice. I say, oh man, it's the last one. Should I get it? Exactly. The question is, you can see uh, Matthew's uh, closet. He has thousand dollars. Yes, and a few thousand dollars. Uh, I will really want this as well as a limited edition, but it's always worth the risk to actually be patient or go and check it out before actually giving money. Absolutely like, right, Mr. Matthew. Absolutely right. Okay, next one. What type of scam is this? Can anybody tell me what type of scam is this? Um, shopping scam or online purchase scam? Basically, they are asking you to buy, you know, JJ Lin tickets or so on or... or you know, Ed Sheeran and, and you're paying for the tickets at half a price or at amazing price. And wow, wow. price for get, Ed get Sheeran's to, tickets. Exactly, you got to meet Send them. shivers down my spine. Oh my God, yeah, man. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, guys, tell right. us uh, what kind of scam is this very quickly. And let's wait for see, a few more. Let's see the chat. We have one that says... Uh, online scam all right let's see if we have any other answers just to shopping scam or online purchase scam hmm. Sending i see uh, freddy also everybody. mentioning um that you know that um e-commerce uh i mean like for big brands and all that they don't just do last piece sales yeah so that's, that's true. i think it's quite important to take note correct I, uh, if you know your brands, your uh, high-end brands very, very well, correct me if I'm wrong. I might be wrong, Mr. Matthew. But they don't bring down their price. If, I, if I'm not wrong, bags like Chanel and so on like that, they don't bring down their prices. You won't see their bags sold at a discount. Uh, I might be wrong, but this is what I know. I mean, just read a bit. So if you know your product very well, you won't be scammed. That's right. There you go. So this is an online scam that most of you have guessed. Fans scam. <laughs> <laughs> also, again, lah, you, you won't be won't be able to see lah. Kena, kena scam also. All right. So next one. Um, could this be a scam, guys? Uh, can I pay cash for the concert tickets when I collect it from you? Uh, thereafter, the seller will tell you that you know I accept only bank transfers uh, because uh, you know I have to work from home. We send the tickets once the amount is de deposited. Someone has expressed interest, but if you make payment first, I'll reserve this for you. Would you go ahead and purchase this ticket? You see the telltale indicators or the, the things that will make you want to purchase this ticket is basically saying, uh, the seller is saying that, you know, if someone is interested, Matthew is interested, he's going to buy this at this price. And if he makes the payment first, there goes the offer. So what will you guys do? What will you reply? Yeah, they will basically rush you to Quite, make yeah, the correct. Choice, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... These are the options. What will you say? You let the person have it then. Yes. Yeah, no. Okay, exactly, okay. Let, well, that's, let Matthew uh, have it. La. Yeah. So basically, you know, it's too risky. No thanks. You know why? Because I value my money more. Exactly. If I have, uh, you know, Michael's uh, reply, I'll, I'll put that in. You let the person have it. Lah. Never mind, you take it. Lah. It's okay. I don't need it. Just don't take my money because that will send shivers through my spine. Okay, never mind. Okay. <laughs> All right, Mr. Matthew, so, let's go, man. Let's go to the next one. Cold uh, joke. It's a cold joke because it's a cold day. Cold day. <laughs> Amazing. So we are almost approaching the end. So uh, once again, I'd like to remind all of you, if you have any questions or anything like that, please feel free to comment in the chat box or in the Q&A segment. We will definitely be more than happy to answer your questions. Uh, I think it's very important that we are in a position that we are learned, we know about this information and we can share it with our friends or family. Because uh, what we want to do as well, as much as we want to protect ourselves, we also want to protect the people around us. And how we can do that is also by downloading Scam Shield. So most of you are actually uh, maybe perhaps using an iOS device. Um, before you flood the comment section, we know that. And uh, Android users, don't worry. We are currently working on it and uh, finalizing it. So once it's available in the market as well, we will definitely push it out. But for now, we uh, encourage all iOS device, uh, users to download Scam Shield. So let me give you some time to scan this QR code, which will bring you to the App Store. Or you can manually type it in the App Store and you can download Scam Shield. 
So basically, scams you. What it does is it will collect all this information about scan numbers and all that, and it will pull into this database. This database will then communicate with your device, and if you receive a call from this, um, you know, a blacklisted number, it will block. So as we know, we sometimes we receive such uh, all these kind of calls, and it's uh, quite annoying sometimes, and also it's quite worrying because you know sometimes maybe for your family, for your friends, they might not be able to identify all the different kinds of scams. So this is a really good platform that you can have to actually um, to protect them and protect yourselves from such scam calls or even SMSs. So once again, please, uh, you are encouraged to scan this QR code uh, whereby you can download Scam Shield on your device. That is correct. So uh, just let me just share a little bit. Uh, uh, ever since I download this uh, Scam Shield, uh, it works for iPhones, right? Uh, they, they do filter a lot of uh, numbers. Uh, I don't get all the scam messages and uh, uh, numbers, but of course there will still be some plus six, five numbers that will still get through. But once you block those numbers and you report it to uh, scam shield and so on, the numbers will not be um, there. Uh, you won't get all this kind of uh, calls and SMSs from them, all right? Wait, Nazri, I thought plus six, five is the Singapore number. Uh, anything with a plus, the prefix at the front, even though the country code is 65 is a Singapore number, it is still a scam. So just treat it as a scam. Again, uh, let, let's just go back to the, the, the start whereby I explained, uh, if you hear on the, the other line, it's uh, like a robot talking to you and it's not a real person, you can't communicate with the particular person and you need to press three, please uh, take note that it is a scam, okay? Uh, other than that, when will the Android app be available, Mr. Uh, Ray? I, I'm not sure, but I can datang. It will, it will be there soon. Don't worry. Very, very soon. Yes, definitely. Uh, we are all hands on deck to actually create things that will protect all of us. Uh, so they are probably still working on it, but we will definitely uh, roll it out to the market once it's stable and once it's safe to use for everybody. So um, we will definitely keep you posted. Uh, what you can do is to follow us on our social media and then we'll definitely turn uh, updates there as well. All right. Okay. I just like to address one of the uh, questions asked. If got random Facebook account, not sure real or fake account, who would ask for items to be blessed to them or transfer money online in the form of given donation? Can it be a scam? It could be a scam, uh, most definitely. But of course, if you need to go and check the authenticity of the, uh, the, the Facebook account, see the comments section. I think that will be the best. If you are unsure, uh, please do not donate. Uh, do not give, even though it's items that are to be blessed to, to, to people uh, because we do not know where these items are going to go or well, we know they're going to sell the items to other people and make money out of it uh, especially when it comes to donation and transferring money so if you do have the time and there is a comments uh, you know uh, section and you can see the comments from the the people who have engaged this particular facebook page then um, just take, take note of all, all that before making any donations and so on Right. Anything to add, Mr. Matthew, for that part? Amazing. Thank you. All right. So this is our um, Mata on Scams. It's our video cast series that we were talking about that uh, you know we, we managed to share with a lot of people about uh, close to 900k views on uh, Facebook and so on. So we aim at different types of scams and how we can protect them. Uh, we have interviews with uh, you know people uh, that is very, very popular in Singapore, like Flying Dutchman and Carla, who is from Kin. So if you um, want to watch us on Facebook, please uh, view us on our page, Marine Parade Neighborhood Police Center, or you can scan the QR code. But the easiest way is, of course, just go into Marine Parade NPC Facebook page, give it a like. Thereafter, you can see all the videos there. You can see me and Matthew and another colleague of us, Ms. Demi. All right. NCPC, our partner, National Crime Prevention Council, uh, they also have their own uh, scam hotline and so on, like that, 1-800-722-6688. If you need someone to talk to you uh, about scams and so on, they are also professionals in this line. Um, you can also join them on Telegram. Uh, they are part of it as well. Okay? Yes, Mr. Matthew. How about now? Sounds amazing. amazing. Oh, all right. My goodness. So just let me read through this very quickly. And uh, you know, with all the digital devices, um, you know that we are using on WhatsApp and all that, right? Uh, so you don't want to receive messages from persons or people, or people. Just block them, right? If you are unfamiliar with the numbers that call you, ignore them. 
And if you're unsure about, you know, this uh, the veracity of this information, ask uh, your family members, your close friends, you know, how to check whether this is real or not. If you're not sure, always ask, don't act first. Okay, so it's also very, very important never to share your WhatsApp account verification code with anyone. Uh, it may, I mean, it, it could be your, even like your bank details or your OTP. All these verification codes and security codes are only meant for your eyes. It's, it's, it could, it's equivalent to like maybe your ATM pin number. So it's always very important that, you know, always uh, there's some, sometimes we receive some unusual requests on WhatsApp, uh, you know, uh, saying that, oh, hi, you know, I'm your friend, blah, blah, blah. blah. And that's what uh, one of you actually mentioned about this imposter scam, which we'll also share uh, on our next sessions and all that on love and impersonation scam. So do sign up for it. And then I think uh, you will be more uh, uh, well aware of those different kinds of scams. So back to WhatsApp, I think it's very important, you know. Uh, let me show you a video of how you can uh, rather activate your two-step verification uh, 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 security pit. Because what, does, what this does is that it will provide you an additional layer of security uh, and, and prevent your, your WhatsApp account to being take over, uh, taken over by these scammers. Very nice video, man, Mr. Matthew. Very relaxed. So this is the way, uh, those are the things that you need to know to uh, on your two-factor authentication. I think it's, it, it will uh, help you a lot and you know, save uh, time and you know, to ensure that you don't get scammed and so on. All right. I think that will be our segment for today. So to thank Smart Nation and Simon for uh, uh, inviting us here today and uh, actually you know, expanding uh, our outreach and you know, always uh, trying to to educate uh, one another and protect one another from all these kind of scams because um, it is always evolving, it's always changing, there's always something new. So it's always good to be one step ahead. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, both of you. Thank you for you know taking the time to also share with us. So I guess uh, you know if we protect ourselves, we protect others around us too. So I guess this is the end of today's session. We definitely look forward to see the both of you as well as all of you uh, to join us uh, next Wednesday for our session. So uh, mean, in the meantime, uh, have a good afternoon and uh, we'll see you then. Thank you.